Okay, today we're gonna be testing out our bucket water heater. It's an electric immersion heater, so let's get started. All right, so this is the first immersion heater I've, I've purchased. With this one, I don't know if there's a difference between different brands, but with this one, this entire part here will go into the water. You don't want this black portion to go into the water and the plug, obviously. This is a five gallon bucket. We have two and a half gallons of water in it. We're gonna, going to be trying this both with a generator and with our Jackery. We have a Jackery 1000. This is a thousand watt uh, immersion heater. I'm not sure it's gonna work with the uh, Jackery. And if it does, how, long, how much it pulls for a, what, what amount of time. So we're gonna see that uh, today. All right, so now I'm gonna start the generator and plug in the immersion heater and get started. It's been five minutes. I just checked the temperature and it shows 110 degrees on the uh, th thermostat. And who feel that? Here, let me hold the camera for just a minute. Is it hot? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that would be a nice shower. Oh, my God. Uh, yes, that would be very nice. All right. So I think with the generator, this would make all the difference in the world. So one of the reasons why we wanted to look at the immersion heater is because we need hot water in our cargo trailer. Um, with a, an on-demand hot water system, which we just recently purchased and we were getting ready to test out, we just don't have a lot of room. We have a six by 10 cargo trailer. Uh, and when we went out the last time we did have a shower, but again, we used our Reliant shower system to uh, take showers. With this, we'll still be able to use our Reliant but have hot water within five minutes, which is gonna make a, a load of difference. And an on-demand hot water system is, I would say, minimum $150. Uh, this immersion heater from Amazon was $30. Our Jackery is currently at 81%. Um, I'm gonna plug in the... Uh, the immersion heater, it's a thousand watt immersion heater. I'm hoping I don't blow up my Jackery, but I wanna see if this is gonna work. All right, it's pulling 830 watts. It's fluctuating between the two. You can see it's already burned off of 1% of the capacity. And so we're gonna see we're gonna run this for five minutes and see uh, if it's able to get the water to the same temp. Okay, it's been five minutes on the Jackery for our immersion heater and it's down to 72%. The Jackery hasn't shut off the entire time, this entire five minutes. So it's used about 10% of its capacity in heating up this uh, the water with the immersion heater. And the temperature is about 110. So, oh, and you definitely feel it. Ooh. <laughs> so that's pretty good. All right, so clearly with the immersion heater, with the Jackery, it works well. Used about 10% of the capacity of our uh, Jackery 1000. With our Honda generator, it was not a problem at all. In five minutes, it heated up uh, both, both ways. It heated up to 110 degrees. So uh, we're, I'm very happy with the results of the test on our immersion heater. So it's definitely gonna be an option for us uh, for heating up water, taking showers, uh, without having to have an on-demand hot water system. This is going to be an easy way for us to heat water up quickly. We're not going to use the Jackery a lot to, uh, to heat up water, but it's, it's good to know that it can and it will pull uh, the immersion heater, the power for the immersion heater. If we're going to heat water, we're going to use our uh, 
Honda generator. Um, it just, it, it's much easier for us to do that. Makes more sense, so, because we need the Jackery for other Yeah, we use sources. the Jackery for lights, charging cameras, charging computers. Uh, I use it for my CPAP at night. Um, and typically with the CPAP and everything else, we use maybe 20% per day. Um, so if we did heat water with it, that's still only 30% of it, the capacity per day. We have a solar panel to recharge it. We can also charge the Jackery in our car as we're going from one place to another. And if we do have uh, electricity, uh, we can charge it that way as well. Okay, what we purchased was the model 05-74G bucket heater. Uh, it heats one gallon of water from 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 130 degrees Fahrenheit in approximately 10 minutes. We only tried it for five minutes and it got it up to about 110 degrees. So I'd say that's pretty consistent. All right, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you'd like to subscribe and follow us on our adventures, please do so. If you have any comments or suggestions for us, let us know. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you have any comments or suggestions for us, let us know. I bit my tongue.